Welcome to the Worldwide Developers Conference. You're going to have an incredible week. Apple CEO Tim Cook kicked off the keynote for the company's Worldwide Developers Conference, better known as WWDC. The two-hour event in San Francisco covered a wide range of product upgrade announcements, but culminated in unveiling a new operating system for iPhones and iPads. It's a great thrill that I announce iOS 7. iOS 7 will offer users a completely redesigned look with upgrades to users' favorite features and apps. Now, your camera in iOS 7 is four cameras in one. You can just swipe from your video camera to your photo camera, to your square cropped camera, to your pano camera. And when you're taking stills, you now have access to live photo filters. Also integrated in iOS 7 is the brand new iTunes radio. And once you have a station you love, you can just tap the eye and you could share it with a friend or even create a new station based on this artist or song. When iOS 7 is released to the public this fall, it will also offer a feature called Activation Lock to better safeguard your phone if it gets stolen or goes missing. And now with Activation Lock, if a thief tries to turn off Find My iPhone or if they even wipe the device entirely, they will not be able to reactivate it because they don't know your iCloud username and password. The other moment of big applause at WWDC was the unveiling of the new Mac Pro Tower that Apple says is smaller, faster, and with better built-in graphics than previous models. This is without doubt the future of the Pro desktop. It is coming later this year. I did say this is a sneak peek. It is designed by brilliant engineers in California and assembled here in the USA. Other announcements included a revamped operating system 10 for Macs called Mavericks, faster MacBook Airs with better battery life, and a new voice for Siri. Hi, Eddie. What can I do for you? Hi, Eddie. What can I do for you? In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.